Time, the world's most valuable commodity. In situations where minutes count, you want the most accurate real-time information available. In the event of a chemical, biological, or radiological incident, there are only minutes to respond. Scientists at the Naval Research Laboratory have been working on a technology that could change the way we respond and react in those crisis situations. It's called CT Analyst. CT Analyst is a chemical, biological, and radiological plume model specifically for urban environments. CT Analyst shows how plume dispersion would occur in a city by performing computational analysis of airflow patterns for a number of preset conditions. The ultimate goal that would be that firefighters, police, first responders are benefiting from the fact that they have a tool that they can use easily, quickly, and with, without much fuss, and, and ability to adapt to a changing situation. CT Analyst was used to prepare and plan for airborne contaminant plumes that could have occurred in the 2009 and 2013 presidential inaugurations. So in 2009, uh, for the inauguration, we actually set up a, what we call it a reachback center. We had the FBI, the Secret Service, Arlington Police, DC Fire, um, Arlington Fire, everyone in the area, the, the civilian support teams which play a big role, it's sort of the military liaison between them, the National Guard and, and actual law enforcement folks. And we basically set up a system where they could, in real time, do what we've been talking about. They could say, if we found a backpack on the street corner, what is it, what is it going to do? If someone hasn't claimed it and we think it might be an event of some kind, where is it going to be in five minutes, ten minutes? How long until it hits the Capitol? How long until the people we need to protect are in danger? During the 2013 inauguration, CT Analyst was used to provide the initial assessment of possible airborne contaminant threats to the FBI All Hazards Center. CT Analyst has given first responders a key advantage so that they spend less time calculating response needs and more time saving lives. It benefits first responders because A, it's fast. It's the, it's, it's the fastest on the market for a good reason. We pre-calculate. Every scenario you can imagine has already been processed. So when it comes down to actually coming up with the scenario you need, it's, it's already in there. It's in a database and you're just able to look it up. Uh, so that's one advantage. The second advantage, again, is that, is that urban landscape. We're not dealing with hundreds of square miles. We're dealing with where you are on the street, where the fire trucks are headed, and more importantly, where you can set up a triage zone, where you can put up hospital tents or whatever else you need and know, and know where that plume is headed and where it's not. The way we think CTNS would be used, the way we hope it is, and, and in some cases it already is being used this way, is you'd have it at a command and control center for the city. So they'd have it up and running at all times, and, and then you would tie it into a sensor network. So if you had on your street corners, on your rooftops, if you had sensors set up detecting these sorts of gases that you're interested in, you could know on the map where, where is my hot zones, what's actually active now and what's not. And that gives you the ability to then decide, well, where is it going to be? If it's, if it's here now, where is it going to go? CT analysts provide state-of-the-art airborne plume prediction to both the Navy and the first responder community. NRL Science, solving the challenges of tomorrow.